God declares the prophet Isaiah is the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity. But being a prophet and not a philosophical theologian, Isaiah did not pause to reflect upon the nature of divine eternity. Minimally, to be eternal is to exist without beginning and end. To say that God is eternal means minimally that he never came into being and will never go out of being. To exist eternally is to exist permanently. Where an entity is permanent, if and only if it exists, and has no first or last finite period of existence, and there are no moments before or after it exists. There are, however, at least two ways in which something could exist eternally. One way would be to exist omnitemporally throughout infinite time. In this case, God would have an immemorial and everlasting temporal duration. The other way in which a being could exist eternally would be by existing timelessly. In this case, God would completely transcend time, having neither temporal location nor temporal extension. He would simply exist in an undifferentiated, timeless state. The question confronting the natural theologian in understanding God's eternity concerns God's relationship to time. Does God exist temporally or atemporally? God exists temporally if and only if he exists in time. That is to say, if and only if his duration has phases which are related to each other as earlier and later. In that case, as a personal being, God has experientially a past, a present, and a future. No matter what moment in time we pick, given God's permanence, the assertion God exists now, were we to make it, would be literally true. By contrast, God exists atemporally, if and only if he is not temporal. This definition makes it evident that temporality and timelessness are contradictories. An entity must exist one way or the other and cannot exist both ways at once. If, then, God exists atemporally, he has no past, present, and future. At any moment in time, it would be true to assert God exists in the tenseless sense of exists, as when one says the natural numbers exist, but not true to assert God exists now.